Hey guys, welcome to the third and final video for today. Um, again, for the third time, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I've been busy with school. School's almost over, seven days, and I'll be uploading more frequently. In the previous video to this, uh, which I just uploaded like two minutes ago, um, which is going to be already up by the time this gets up, but uh, in the video previous to this, I talked about Republican platforms, planks, and values, and talked about the states that most agree with those values as citizens and as people and ind individuals in the state. Um, so now I'm going to talk about the Democratic Party, the states that most ag agree with their platforms, their planks, and their values as a political party. Now, the Democratic Party is becoming increasingly more liberal, which means they are more for social um, justice, they are more for equality, they are more for um, those sorts of things. Um, now, typically, the Democratic Party believes in religion as science, um, so it all started with the Big Bang, um, promoting scientific evidence that has been found by scientists and not particularly believing in a religion or any given omniscient power um, or anything. I won't share my or my uh, views in this, but um, I'm certainly going to uh, say that they are not really generally for an omniscient being um, as a party and more respect scientific sides of things. Um, so that is the Democratic Party. Um, their economic views are obviously more liberal. They support uh, bringing in money in the form of taxes, so raising taxes to create social welfare programs that benefit the poor and unemployed. You know, that's just the Democrats. Um, they support higher spending for uh, child care, for um, creating jobs, for all that different stuff. As in foreign policy, they support diplomatic reasoning, which is something that they have in common with uh, Republicans who like to focus more on home. But the thing that is different when it comes to foreign policy is that the Democrats are um, pretty much non-interventionist, whereas they want to ensure that our diplomacy trumps our military strength. Um, so the Republicans are more creating peace in the world through showing our military strength, where the Democrats are for Diplom peace through diplomacy. Um, so uh, that's the foreign policy. For the domestic policy of the Democratic Party, they are more for social issues, obviously gay rights, obviously for um, uh, abortion rights, so women's right to choose, and obviously that's not every single Democrat in the nation. Um, um, I can vouch for that. Uh, so that's not every single Democrat in the nation, but uh, that is on average, a majority of them. The Democrats are very much for activism, very much for speaking out, very much for the equality of all people, and are probably the farthest from Christian conservative values as you're going to get. Whereas they don't believe in the woman being the one that stays at home. They believe that a woman should be active in politics. They believe that a woman should be active in a family's life. They believe that a woman should hold her own career, which is what majority of Americans do most of the time. They believe in a living wage, which is higher minimum wage, as well as a higher wage for workers um, who work in other sectors other than minimum wage level positions. They support, um, oh, let's see, uh, a lot of entitlement programs, welfare programs like Social Security, all that different stuff. They support basic trade deals, trade, free trade, which is something else that they are uh, in in pretty close contact with the Republican Party with, um, although they do not believe in protectionism in trade, whereas they believe that we should be trading on a free basis, obviously, but um, that should be limited and restricted by the government. Which leads into obviously regulation on corporate America, regulation on Wall Street, breaking up the banks, which is the very liberal side of democratic politics. And I don't want to get into that because that is not every Democrat ever created. Um, so let's get into some of the states that agree with the democratic policy more than others. And there will be some states that are not colored in because those are states that share equally with the views of both parties and with the platforms of both parties. But the states that mostly agree with the Democrats are obviously the West Coast, Illinois, um, pretty much Minnesota, New York, 
Vermont, um, New Hampshire for the most part, and the New England states. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, Hawaii is included in that. Most of Maine is included in that, but, for, you know, for the sake of that upper congressional district, for the second congressional district, I'm going to leave Maine out of this. So the blue states that I have marked are states that um, the Dem- the Democratic policy um, is more in line with. I'm going to include Michigan in that because that is mostly workers that are becoming um, more active in terms of women in the workforce, um, and so I'm going to include them in that. Um, surprisingly, there are, well, not really surprisingly, since there are more states um, for the Republicans, um, they do get more electoral votes in terms of who agrees more with them, which is 241 electoral votes to the Democrats, 212 electoral votes. Now, the states that are left on there are pretty much toss-up states. Now, obviously, I know it can be argued that the Rust Belt is for the conservatives. Um, it can be argued that... Some of the Bible Belt is for the Democrats. It can be argued that most of the Sun Belt is for the Democrats or the Republicans. I know. It can be argued that. Um, But the states that I have left in gray are states that are more for um, equal or not for any particular um, platform at all um, to either party or a completely different party. So... um, Obviously, the blue states for the Democrats, red states for the Republicans, gray states are what we're going to consider in this toss-up states. Um, So, with that being said, I hope you guys go watch the previous video to this, which is the Republican platform, planks, and policy, and values. This one's the Democratic planks, platform, policy, and values. The one before that is the 2018 Senate predictions, which I just did as well. Um... And once again, as school gets out, which is in seven days, I'll be coming out frequently with more videos. Um, So thank you for watching and like, subscribe, suggest more video ideas, suggest your suggestions for this video. Um, And thanks for all your support and see you next time.